name is Amanda. Again, I'm the President of Student Advisory Council, and this is going to be our second virtual CAFE's organization update. Uh, first of all, just kind of all CAFE's reminders. Uh, don't forget about your, the hitching post. It's right outside the main doors of agri the Agri Science Building. You can hang your, your, board, your club board up to a week before your meeting, um, and you can leave it up for a couple of days afterwards if you prefer. For the food shelf, remember we have an on-campus food pantry now. It's located at the bottom of the stairwell on the first floor of Egg site. And remember, it is open to every UWRF student. So if you know someone who needs it, please reach out to them and let them know. Don't forget about the scrolling TV screens in Egg site. It's located right next to the Dean's office. Contact Stephanie Cole for that. And if you're watching this on Monday, your Student Advisory Council voting is still open, so if you have not voted for the Constitution or bylaws, um, please vote for that because the reason we're doing that is so that Student Advisory Council can be an officially recognized club on campus. We're, the club's over 30 years old, but we, we just never got recognized by campus as an actual club and it would really, really help us to be able to have that so we can have a budget and have, um, everything that comes along with that. So please do that. It would help us a lot. Another thing that you may or may not have noticed, the club cage is gone. The club cage was located in the mail room in Eggs High first floor and it was storage for all sorts of club stuff. A lot of clubs had their hitching post boards in it. It is gone. It is demolished. They are adding new coolers and I think a freezer over there. So right now everything's in temporary storage and they haven't quite decided where the new club cage is. But if you have something that was in it, don't worry, it's not gone. It's just moved. If you need something right away that was in it, let us or Dean Olson know. All right, so we need you guys to, rem to remember to follow all of the COVID guidelines for all club activities that you guys are doing. And to get to these guidelines, it is in the Student Involvement Organization Guidebook. And to get to that, you go on the UWRF website and Student Involvement, and then under Recognized Student Orgs, there will be a picture on the top of the page. And if you click on that, it'll link you to a PDF file of this student guidebook. Um, and if you want to have an event, please ask for accommodations in the cafe's dean's office before the event takes place. And I know it said in the email it took it takes about three days to get the accommodations approved. So I would recommend at least three days in advance asking for those accommodations. All right, and then we just have a reminder on uh, reaching out to industry professionals. Like I know during this time, a lot of us aren't able to hold as many events. But one thing we could always do is reach out to people in the industry or club related stuff. That way you could like get involved, but still do it in a virtual way because we want to all be as involved as we can. So one thing we could do is watch out for any emails that you might receive from any ind industry professionals and that might be them reaching out to you or they might reach out to us and we'll forward that on to you guys. Or even if you want to reach out and find some companies that you might want to have a speaker for or hold like a Zoom meeting, feel free to do that. And this is something that you could either do for just your club, or if you would like to make it something that is available to all CAFE students or all students in general, that's okay too. Just let us know and we could send out that email and get people involved. Okay, and then last off, we have our contact information. So this is the same as it has been previously. So there's Amanda up there. She's the president, a uh, vice president. That's me. I'm Blair. And then we have Cheyenne, who's our secretary. And then we also have our advisor who is not here with us right now, but that is Dean Olson. So all our emails are right there. So feel free to contact us if you have any questions. And then we also do have the vid video schedule up on the right. So this will be going up October 12th, and that means that the next one will be October 26th. So keep an eye out for those. And once again, that is when the videos are released. That is not when your videos are due to be sent in. So yeah, keep those in mind, write those on your calendar, and hope you guys all have a good couple weeks. Hi, I'm Serenity, the CAFE's rep for Farm Bureau. 
We are super excited to be staying active this semester. The Wisconsin Farm Bureau Federation is the state's largest general farm organization representing farms. We are active at the state and local level, attending events such as the YFA conference in Wisconsin Dells. This is a conference to learn about careers and policy in Farm Bureau, as well as interacting with other young farm enthusiasts and opportunities for competitions. Other state events attended by our members are Ag Day at the Capitol and the Ignite Conference. Some big events we host as a chapter are the Barn Dance and Ag Day on campus, as well as having industry speakers come in to give Farm Bureau members an edge up when it comes to careers in agriculture. Although some big events can't be held online, we look forward to coming up with creative ways to interact with students virtually. Our first meeting will be held on October 6th at 7 p.m. on Microsoft Teams. Be sure to like our Facebook page to continue to learn about events and ways to get involved. Hi, I'm Jillian Turbyville and I'm the president of Horticulture Society. Horticulture Society, if you don't know, is an organization led by UWF students who are interested in horticulture through vocation or through hobby. We provide information relative to the field through tours, through speakers, through special events, and through any opportunities that come to us. Horticulture Society usually has two plant sales a semester, which many people know about. You'll see us in the UC selling our plants. Unfortunately, we will be waiting on any plant sales this semester until we return to normalcy. If you love plants and you would like some plant friends, please join us. Um, Find us on uwfsmyorgs.edu where you can subscribe and get emails from me, letting you know when our next meetings are and any opportunities that come. Thank you! My name is Grant Bualda and I am one of the CAFE's representatives for the Ag Business and Marketing Society. For those of you who aren't familiar with us, the Ag Business and Marketing Society or more commonly known as ABMS, is a club open to all students with the purpose of uniting students, educators, and professionals to develop social capital, leadership skills, and technical knowledge in order to advance and celebrate agriculture. Our activities this year aren't quite the same. Typically, ABMS would host a career fair social both in the fall and spring semesters to help students network with ag businesses. Other activities include resume workshops and participating in the Management Assessment Center with the UW Extension. Our meetings typically include guest speakers from the industry, as well as the occasional fun night and games. Another thing our club likes to do is to organize intramural teams among our members. It's a great way to make friends and build relationships. This semester has been slow when it comes to activities, but one of the things that we have been working on is putting together a jacket order for the Ag Econ Department. These softshell jackets should be available in the near future as we work with the department to finalize logos and branding. Feel free to follow us on social media to get updates on anything that comes up this semester. My name is Cheyenne. I am the president of SALSA, which is the university's Student Alliance for Local and Sustainable Agriculture. So far this semester, SALSA has had two meetings and we have had our first virtual activity this semester as well, which was a virtual movie night. And we watched an episode of Down to Earth, which is a sustainability focused series. And we watched this simultaneously and our members were actually able to chat with each other about any questions that came up as we were watching together. Um, we are hoping to get together in person soon for some great fall activities. If you're interested in being added to Salsa's email list, find us on OrgSync and email me. Um, but yeah, everyone stay safe. Thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, for Geo Club, uh, we are currently planning a medallion hunt that's going to be taking place sometime within the next few weeks and for that there's going to be three different uh, geology related medallions hidden across campus and the goal will be to find those and if you find it you are able to pick out a geology related prize from our prize pool 
So uh, we were also planning um, some kind of synchronous movie or game night. Not exactly sure how we're going to get that worked out yet, but uh, you know, we're going to try and pick some geology related movies. Um, and if you have any suggestions on movies that we could watch, let any of us officers know. And finally, on October 22nd at 515, Professor Andrews is going to be giving a speech. Mm -hmm. And that is all that we have planned for the current time as Geo Club. Hi, so I'm Jeremiah Nichols. I am the CAFE's rep for the Crops and Soils Club. And really, it's been after this, after the uh, two-week stay-at-home that we've been going through it. It's been tough for the club to get some stuff done as a club. So really, what we our big thing was we had our first meeting today, which was out at Hoffman Park, socially distanced. And really, which was good to get in person and see everyone. And we had an egg race and we did had some food in that but yeah that was our big thing and then we are planning on doing a socially distanced corn maze coming up here one of these weeks as well as our yearly uh dish cleaning which so that should be fun yeah um with this whole covid going on it's really tough to get out and see everyone and see Get the club involved, but we're doing the best we can, socially distanced, staying, sta staying safe as well as we can. Yeah. Hello, my name is Caitlin Moore, and I'm the president of Resource Management Club. Resource Management Club is meeting virtually every other Tuesday at 6 p.m., and our next meeting will be October 13th. The club is working hard to inform members about community volunteer events. We are also working with the Grounds Department to come up with some on-campus volunteer opportunities. Additionally, we are working with the Ecological Restoration Institute here on campus to get students trainings and certifications that will be helpful to them in the natural resources field. For example, recently, members have had the opportunity to sign up for tractor training where they will learn how to safely operate machinery. If you have any questions or would like to be added to our email list, please let me know. Thank you! Thank you.